If you don't already have Sigil, you want to get it from github.com, and there's the URL. I'm running a 32-bit system on Windows, so I've already downloaded this exe. And the next step is to install it. To be fair, I did have an older version, but I'm going to go ahead and run the upgrade. Once you've installed Sigil, please open EPUB template version 2, and you can right-click. I'll just move my camera over and say open with and choose sigil. When you open the template it will look like this and as you can see we've got an introduction page. We've put a link in and if you're wanting to change any of the colors you can do that via the style sheet. Just double click on it and this is um, CSS so if you're familiar with CSS this will be really comfortable. If you're unfamiliar with CSS, your best bet is just to go with the way that I've set it up and hope for the best. One thing to note is that if you are planning on using iBooks to view this, don't get too attached to the link colors because when these eBooks are loaded into iBooks, they do tend to change some of the formatting. Mostly it's fine, but links are one thing that don't survive that process. So in the next video, I'll show you how to set up some pages of your own.